Welcome back to another episode of Running Through the A. This week we've got volleyball players Taylor Head and Hannah Hogue. They are on the Razorback volleyball team and the team is ranked in the top 25 for the first time since 2015. So we had a really good interview with them and they've got some great stuff. But before that, we want to give a shout out to our sponsors, Be Unlimited. We've got some awesome shirts from them. This is a Derek McFadden one. Got the KJ one. I love that shirt. And then another McFadden one. I would do a spin, but it won't work right. Um, <laughs> um, you can check them out on Twitter at Be Unlimited, or their website is shop.b-unlimited.com. Um, they've got new NIL deals with players every week through the 2022 college football season. And um, yeah. All right. Welcome to another episode of Running Through the A. I'm excited about this one. Today we got volleyball players. Um, Awesome season, first time ranked since 2015. What is it? Since 2015. Yeah, so it's been a hell of a season so far. We got Hannah Hogue and we got Taylor Head with us. Like I said, very excited for this one. So let's jump into it. So I want to talk about where are we all? Where are y'all from? Let's start there. (laughs) Um, I'm from Orlando, Florida. Okay. I'm far. I'm far from home. But first time I came up here, I thought I fell in love with it. So, yeah, we wanted to know about the recruiting process and what it was like, because we saw you were from Florida and that's very far. And we don't know a whole lot about the volleyball recruiting process. So how was that? Um, it was good. It started very early. I was a freshman in high school when I committed. Oh, wow. And um, yeah, I was really young, but the rules have changed now. So you can't do that now. But yeah, um, so, so uh, one of the Arkansas was one of the only SEC schools that was recruiting me and I wanted to go into the SEC um my family has always been like big SEC football fans so we've been uh I wanted to go into the SEC and uh my mom actually didn't come on the visit with us because she was like you're not going to Arkansas you know (laughs) and me and my dad came home and we actually like we're telling her about it and was like we fell in love with it I love the coaches I love the campus it was warm. <laughs> it's special. It's something special. Yeah. So, so when you came, did you know anybody? No, I, I didn't know anyone. You know, it's funny. Ironically enough, my mom's actually from Florida, Palm Beach. Really? And she went to Arkansas and knew absolutely no one. So uh, <laughs> yeah. I can relate to what you're saying. Yeah, I didn't know a soul. Good for you. That's that's courage. <laughs> so you're, you're liking it, I guess. Yeah, I love it. I love I love my teammates. I love my coaches. I love everything about it. And I love Fayetteville. Fayetteville's yeah. such a gem. So what was yeah. mom's reaction whenever you told her that you were all <laughs> in on like, Arkansas? Are you sure? <laughs> you, you Arkansas? Can look at other places, like, closer. <laughs> yeah. Like, Did you I even know, know that the university was in Fayetteville? No. I, I mean, I had yeah. never been to Arkansas. I thought Arkansas was just green pastures and cows. Yeah, of course. Like, yeah. I didn't think anything of it. And then me and my dad were like, whoa, <laughs> <laughs> this place is cool. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. All right, Hannah, what about you? I know you had a totally different <laughs> Totally experience. different. Yeah. <laughs> I'm from Fort Smith, Arkansas. So, I mean, yeah. my, my, both my parents went to school here. I grew up, you know, coming to football games here, doing like, I just was born and I was like, yeah, I'm going to be, I'm going to be a Razorback. Like it was no brainer for me. So yeah. The recruiting yeah. process, I mean, it was kind of similar to Taylor's. I committed like going into freshman year, but I mean, I knew this was where I wanted to go. So. It was, it was easier. <laughs> we saw that your parents actually, they both went to Arkansas, right? And your dad was a baseball player and your mom was a cheerleader. Yeah. My dad played baseball for a couple of years and then my mom cheered. That's very cool. Yeah. Very cool. yeah he'll tell you she's the, she's the, you know, high, high, big deal in our family. Oh yeah. <laughs> of course. Yeah. She's a big deal. Yeah. So y'all both committed early. Is that common for volleyball? Like I don't, To be honest, I don't know anything about volleyball recruiting or how that works. So I know baseball, that's common to recruit years before you actually step foot on campus, I guess, to be a student. Is that common for volleyball? Uh, Yeah, I mean, I think so. I think, well, our generation or not generation, but already like a couple years ago, I think it was very like, I think you would commit really early and stuff like that. But I think it's changed now. I think you have to be at least a junior. Yeah, yeah, I don't think we can talk to him until, like, junior year, so. Oh, wow. Or is it sophomore yeah. year? One of those two. Yeah, I'm not sure. 
All right, so y'all came to Arkansas. You already, Taylor, you already said that the vibes in Fayetteville is different. Were you surprised at all, even after you got here, like being in school or anything? Like, did anything? What was your biggest surprise? Well, I guess you went to recruiting, but what was your biggest surprise once you got here as a student? Um, I think my, probably the biggest shock was like how, like, everyone around like everyone in Arkansas is Arkansas fans like yeah you're not you're not an Arkansas State fan you know you're an Arkansas fan yeah. or like since there's no pro sports uh everyone just has one thing in common and you're gonna cheer for the Arkansas Razorbacks so I thought that was a shock because I mean in Florida there's I don't know how many teams down there right. so everyone's like you know split and All stuff place, I think yeah. that was a shock for me yeah and you all definitely have like the entire state on your back and especially yeah. right now, everyone is on the volleyball train right now. Right. Especially in the last week, like we had someone um, reply to one of our tweets on the podcast and they were like, we need a volleyball episode. I'm like, well, surprisingly enough, we have one coming up. So awesome. There we go. So, on there right now. Yeah, we actually scheduled y'all before y'all beat the last huge win. And so, um, that was like really fun watching, knowing that it's like, yes, I get to talk to these girls. <laughs> it, was, it was cool. So yeah, I guess y'all were here last year. Y'all seen this thing, it's only been one year, but y'all y'all seen the uh, growth of the program with the fans. Mm -hmm. How's that as a player, just seeing like the crowd getting more and more students, free t-shirt giveaways, all that, how's that? I think there's a, there's like a saying, win and they'll come. And I, uh, I think I think that's pretty evident for us now. Like we've been getting towards this, and you know, hog fans—they're loyal. Like they'll stay through the lean years. But when you start winning, like they're gonna pack it, pack it. So it's been really cool. Yeah. Is there does that add any pressure to y'all? I think, I think so. I think it, 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 yeah, excites us. I think it's like, oh, we have a big matchup tonight. Like we need these fans to help us out. And I think they, act, they really do. Yeah. Will and I were both watching the Georgia Tech game and the end, like the crowd was just crazy. It was really cool to hear on the TV. Yeah, yeah you can start feeling it when it gets to the end. Yeah. And it's fun, like, tweeting about y'all. <laughs> we get a lot of interaction from it. It's, it's definitely growing. I, I love watching it, how, how fast it's growing. It's exciting. It's like we were watching the Georgia Tech game and we were like, this is electric. Like, this is because so <laughs> it just got so tight there for a minute yeah it's an easy game to watch too like once right. you watch it's, you just want to keep watching. it's intense every point yeah. counts mm -hmm. and it's so it's fast intense. too yeah you don't gotta right. wait five minutes for another inning to start i'm forever <laughs> a volleyball fan now <laughs> y'all like I, I it's it's entertaining yeah. speaking of that what got y'all into volleyball have y'all always played volleyball um I well I I played like soccer and basketball when I was younger but I started playing when I was eight so okay. I so I started and well volleyball was kind of always on the back burner until I got to like another like until I was like 10 or 11 or 12 and um then I started really focusing on volleyball but I was always playing like two sports like it was like volleyball and softball volleyball and soccer but yeah okay. my mom saw a flyer and she was like you want to try out for volleyball and I was like yeah and I had like jean shorts on, Converse. <laughs> you went out there. A tank top that said like I heart something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you just fell in love. Yeah, I loved it. There you go. Hannah, what about you? Yeah, my, my older sister played volleyball. And so, I mean, I played everything growing up. It was mainly softball and volleyball for me, but volleyball was just, it was just so much faster. <laughs> I didn't have to wait around to play. <laughs> so, yeah. Right getting to watch my sister play and growing up with that yeah that was it was cool and I just fell in love with it so when you guys yeah. since you guys both committed so early when did you guys realize that like you were going to be able to play college volleyball I probably I probably didn't I mean I realized it when they offered me I guess yeah, <laughs> I, was, yeah. I, I mean I was so young I was like 14 so I didn't really I mean I knew that's what I wanted to do but when they offered I was like oh I guess I can really do this you know? yeah Wait, they offered when you were 14? Yeah. So my summer going into wow. freshman year. Wow. That's, that's, that's cool. <laughs> that's funny. You guys both said that you both played softball. That's the only thing I was like comparing it to is because softball players commit 
super early also like that like ninth tenth grade yeah it's crazy it's crazy to think I made a decision about my future at 14 years old like that's crazy yeah I know that's what I was gonna say well I guess you're from Arkansas like you say you grew up on a game so yeah it's a little easier for me but yeah yeah but when did you know you're going to Arkansas they want you to visit yeah um well Arkansas loves their short outside hitters. So I'm, and I'm one of those, I'm shorter. So I knew I was going to have like a harder time, like trying to hit and do all that. But they were like, I don't care about your high. And I wanted to be in the SEC. I love the campus. Everything just felt really like just right. Mm-hmm. And so I was like, you know what? I'm going to go to Arkansas. They're the first people that believed in me. So there you go. Yeah. Was well, so- uh, Coach Watson a big part of that? Yeah, he was. He uh, he really persuaded me on a lot of different things. He just said all the right things. He's just he's a great guy too. He cares about you as a person, and um, I know my parents appreciate that. He makes sure like he we just moved into a, a new place recently, and he just he helped us uh, take our couch. You know, like wow, he's a nice person, and he always will have our backs no matter what. So I really appreciated that on my visit, and I could see that. Yeah, it seems like all the coaches up there right now are it they all kind of aren't exactly the same, but they're all they all seem super personable and like they seem to care about their team and their players more than a lot of coaches that you see at a bunch of other schools. Yeah. Yeah, they they just care about us as people like foremost and then like volleyball's next. So that's it's refreshing to go into the gym and like if you're having a crappy day, you can say it and they'll get it. Yeah. I was gonna say like the whole vibe of Arkansas athletics is crazy right now and uh, y'all are a major part of it now which is cool and I think Hunter Yurchek is like the guy that brought all that so I was going to ask do y'all ever get to see him or anything he he comes to some practices every once in a while yeah and he'll he's at like every time like we win he's like right there by the locker room like giving us a high five and stuff and that's cool uh, Kevin trainers are like like person for our sport so he's there a lot, like at practices and everything. Gotcha. Gotcha. How's the team chemistry? I know you guys, Taylor, you lead the team in points. Hannah, you lead the team in assists. So you guys are kind of like a duo back there. <laughs> How's the team chemistry with you guys? Uh, I mean, I think our whole team has a great chemistry. I, I don't think I've been on a team where – I just love every single one of them and I trust all of them. And I think we're doing something really special. And I think it started in the summer, Um, but we just keep building, you know, we just keep building on that and it's been great. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. It's rare. Like (laughs) obviously like you love your teammates, but like you also like them. Like you like being around them. You like coming into the gym. So it's, it's really, really cool. It's cool watching y'all on TV because you can just like see the chemistry. You can see the joy in everybody's faces. It's cool. It's it's special, like you were saying. All right, let's get into some terms, right? Because okay. So kill a kill shot, kill. What's that? <laughs> I know what it is, uh, but for the um, a kill is when someone you hit the ball and it goes to the ground, or someone like shanks it. Um, spike people, it, right? Yeah, people call it a spike, but we it's yeah. so after you spike it, it's a kill. And but a kill can also be like a tip or like a roll shot. So if it scores a point, it's a kill. Okay. And that's your move. I do that. Yeah, I do that. Yeah. <laughs> and Hannah's the one that sets you up for the yes. kill. Yes. She set okay. yeah. All right. Pancaking. Is that is that a term? <laughs> oh yeah. That's like those. So basically, Hannah gets a lot of these. Yeah, your hand is just on the ground flat. That's like you got a tip, you got to get up, you're diving, hands on the ground. It's like your last resort. So the opposing team will kill it, and then you got a pancake. (laughs) No, they won't kill it because that's not the point. If she, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. pancake stops it. (laughs) Usually, pancake, like if they tip the ball and you got to run forward and then you like dive and put your hand on the ground. Yeah. All right, last game I heard the announcer say tooling. Is that a thing? Yes. Um, so usually when I go up to hit, uh, there's two blockers on me, and uh-huh. they're, like, trying to block the ball, and I use their hands to get a kill. So I hit the ball into their hands, and the ball goes pew. 
Oh, that's that's tooling. Yes, that's tooling. I was actually wondering that because I couldn't figure that one out. <laughs> <laughs> what else is? Are there any other terms that we need to know about? Um, you got like a dig. So like, a dig, if they yeah. if Taylor hits the ball and they get it up, that's a dig for the other team. Okay. Yeah. Um, a shank. Do you know what a shank is? It sounds like a golf when you hit it and it gets golf. <laughs> yeah, kind of. <laughs> You and shank from golf. <laughs> That's a good one, though. And then yeah. ace is when you get a point off the serve. Mm -hmm. Hannah gets a lot yeah. of those. Too. I was about to say we saw a video of Hannah getting one of those, and we were like, "We got her on the ball." <laughs> <laughs> sure. A block. A block. Yeah. That when they try to kill it and then they block it. Yeah. 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 Got that. That's yeah. a fun one. And then it's the it's. First to five, right, of sets, and then you got to get to 25, right? Do you have to win by two? Yes. Yep. It's best of three. Best, best of, of three. Yeah. So, oh, yeah, best of five, but yeah, first yeah. three. Yeah. Thank you all so much. That's all we got. Appreciate it. That was awesome. Thank Thanks you guys. Yeah, thank you guys.